How you doing, folks? It's Danny Boy here with Dr. Uh, Fiamengo. Oh, yeah, you're Danny Boy. Okay. Now and uh, I've got a few questions for you, and she's graciously given us a couple of minutes to get these through. So, um, Dr. Fiamengo, I would like to ask you, um, uh, when and how did you come to the conclusion that feminist ideology was creating a toxic academic and social environment for male students in our higher education system? Well, it started when I was um, first employed as a full-time faculty member in an English department. And we hired, we had many hiring competitions in the five years that I was in this department. And in nearly every case, men, highly qualified men were passed over um, in favor of women in the name of gender equality. And uh, it was just horrible to see the way in which men were being disadvantaged. And I just decided that any ideology that could countenance that kind of blatant discrimination was not one that I could be a part of. Be a part of. Thank you. Um, were you apprehensive about coming here and speaking tonight in light of the protest during the Dr. Farrell? Uh... Not really. I mean, you know, I didn't really think that there would be a serious protest. It's more difficult, I think, to protest when it's a woman speaker on this kind of an issue. And I felt that probably if the protesters were um, intelligent, they would have realized that they just looked oppressive and a bit hysterical. So I, I thought there would probably be less of a protest this time. They were out there. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you plan on uh, doing uh, more talks like this? Uh, this one to bring attention to the situation men and boys face in our education system. I guess it depends on whether I'm wanted to give more talks. It's certainly an issue close to my heart. I'm certainly not an expert in the field. I am an English professor, but it's something I've been thinking about for a decade, and not that many other people are speaking up about it, so if, if there's a need, I would like to be involved. Okay. Um, what kind of activism do you see yourself doing in the future? Just more writing, really. Just more I, I write, you know, that's what I, I do now. I write for some conservative uh, websites on social and, and political issues related to academia. I, the, the, the politicization of academia. That's really my issue, I guess. So I did catch a writing. wonderful article by you about uh, Rate My Teacher, and oh, yeah? the, the, the thing that stuck out in my head <laughs> was the one quote about. Be prepared to listen hard and think. Yeah. What are the odds you're in university for that? Yeah. I don't know. That's right. That's my kind of subject. Yeah. You know, those sorts of things. Um, now, are you aware of the Ottawa Coalition uh, paper that's been out there for a little while? And yeah. do you think that's a product of feminism? Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure whether that is a mistake, as you've been claimed, or whether that was deliberate. But either way, it made me think that the, the researcher who looked at those stats, if it was a mistake, and she misinterpreted the stats and didn't realize that what was being counted as all people and their experience of violence wasn't just women's experience of violence. That to me is a paradigm of feminist um, warped thinking because she, when she's thinking about violence, she's only thinking about women. She can't imagine that men are the victims of violence as well. And so, so that's the way of explaining it as a genuine mistake. Of course, there's a possibility that it wasn't a mistake, but one can't know. We don't know the hearts of these people. Thank you ever so much, uh, Dr. Fiamengo. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you and commend you for speaking up and speaking out for men and boys today. Thank you very much. Um, nice Danny Boy out. You. It's a pleasure. Nice yes, a pleasure. Um, yeah. um, if you would like, we do a radio show. Okay. We do a okay. Skype radio show every Thursday night. Mm -hmm. If you would like to call in at the end of the week, we'd love to have you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.